So here's an example of banking experience for a customer. What I can do is click onto mortgage page and this will open up the area in which mortgages are available. The virtual agent you can see is proactive. So it understands that I am looking at mortgages and is able to assist without me clicking into the function. The virtual agent has said, I see you reading up on loan, so it understands my activity and it's been proactive to help. I can say, yes, I would like to apply. And even without mentioning loans, it understands that I'm talking about loans because I'm on this page and that's what question they've asked me about. What I can do now is actually log in. So I'm accessing the Norwegian application method here. This is used in Norway for banking and taxes and getting information about you as a citizen, but also is very secure. And as you can see in the bank, it says secure chat. And we now know that this is authenticated and secure. It understands and recognizes who I am. And therefore, as I continue, it will be related to me as a customer. What I can actually do inside the chat, it's called me Samuel, but I like to be called Sam. We can change the entity inside the chat and then continue by calling me Sam. What I can do is continue by going through the loan calculation. It knows my annual salary based upon their information. But I can change this inside the chat as it has changed. It will need information about my debts and then how many kids I have. What we're doing here is the virtual agent is asking if I will have a co-borrower. I prefer to have further information about this to be sure. So I can say, what do you mean by that? And using context, the virtual agent knows that I'm still talking about co-borrowers and therefore gives me further information and then asks me to continue. Ask me now if I have a car. I can say, I wish I had a Ferrari. The virtual agent then can actually answer instead of being confused. But what it does is not only answer, but pushes me back to fulfilling the task in which I started with, which is going through the loan application. So this is called goals. This provides value for the business, but also provides value for the customer by being pushed and steered towards finishing the task in which they started with the conversation. I can say I have only one car. And here what it's done, it's taken a summary of the information in which I've provided inside the chat and offered this to me and asked if I would like to confirm and send this to pre-approval. What I can do here is after being sent to approval, it picks up the information that is relevant for me. It recognizes my email address and then asks me to confirm inside the chat. And this is where the pre-approval email will be sent. What I can also do is ask the virtual agent two questions in one sentence. So as you can see here, I've asked for variable interest rates and also information about my loan application. The virtual agent using ASU, automatic semantic understanding, picks up what's important in that sentence and realizes that there's two questions and lays them both back to me inside the chat. Instead of picking which is the most highly predicted and giving me that as an answer, it understands and analyzes the sentence separately to give me both inside the chat. In addition to this, what I can do is after going through the loan application, I can ask about ordering insurance for my house. The bank currently doesn't offer house insurance, but instead of saying, I don't understand, or I'm sorry, I cannot help you. What we've created is something called VAN, Virtual Agent Network. And this is live today and in production and currently working very well. What this allows us to do is seamlessly transfer the end user to another website's virtual agent without changing website or leaving the chat function. So the bank recognizes that this is house insurance and has an insurance virtual agent or a collaboration with an insurance company and then offers the transfer here. When I click this, you can see that the colors change and the avatar changes, and I am now talking with the insurance company. What I can do is speak in Spanish. The VA recognizes that this is Spanish and then relays the message back in Spanish also. This is an example experience for a banking customer.
and how this could work. If you have any questions or have any further interests, then please contact me. Thanks.